This video is to introduce you to the Balancing Act simulation. Watch this video before you complete the tasks on the web page. The Balancing Act is actually a teeter-totter. As you know, a teeter-totter must have equal masses on either side in order to be level. For instance, the frame that you see on the screen has two fire extinguishers. Each one's five kilograms, and each one is at a position in equal distance from the pivot point. When the supports are removed, we can see that the teeter-totter remains level. When we remove one of the weights, we can see that the teeter-totter is going to fall in the direction where the weight currently is. you'll notice some helpful tools on the right-hand side. One is a ruler, another force indicators, and arrows to show us when we're level. When the teeter-totter is not level, the arrow arrows are white. And when the teeter-totter is level, the arrows turn green. The balancing act is very important because it uses one of our very important um, concepts that we learned in class about machines. It involves our equation dealing with work. That equation says that work in will equal work out. And work is defined as force times distance. So that sets us up with our equation. Force in times distance in equals force out times distance out. So you'll be asking how this relates back to our simulation. Well, if I have a 10 kilogram mass at 2 meters, and I want to know where I can put a 20 kilogram mass in order to level our tier totter we would need to be able to figure that out mathematically. We can do that using our equation. We can apply the equation to that problem. And thing that we need to look at is how do we convert our masses to weights? We know that weight is equal to the mass times the gravity, or 9.8. So the force for the 10 kilogram mass would be 98 newtons. And the 20 kilogram mass would be 196 newtons. We can plug those values into our equation, where 98 newtons is the force in, and 196 newtons is the force out. And the distance for 98 newtons is 2 meters. But we don't know is how much our distance out would be. So it would be x. Solve for x by dividing both sides by 196 newtons. Notice that 196 newtons cancels out on our right side, and newtons units cancel out on the left side. And by plugging those values into the calculator, we see that our answer is 1 meter. So for you uh, math gurus out there, you'll notice this is not a proportion, but an inverse relationship. So that if the force is low, then the distance is high. If the distance is high, then the force is low. So let's see if we're right. Let's take this to the simulator. Right now, the supports are in place. We have the 10 kilogram mass at 2. And our 20 kilogram mass needs to be moved, according to our calculations, to 1. When we remove the supports, we'll see if our answer was correct. And as we can see, our teeter-totter is balanced. All this relies on our equation, work equals work. And we can substitute work with our equation force times distance. Use this to help you complete the project with the simulator. This concludes this video.